You cannot use TikTok anymore to make viral videos. You cannot use share it to exchange files. You cannot even use cam scanner to scan any files. This is a new online reality in India. The Indian government has banned the use of 59 Chinese apps in the aftermath of the border dispute between India and China, which flared up earlier in June. The announcement of a ban has been seen as a powerful move, but it needs more clarity. So let's break it down for you. The first question that arises is, how will the ban be enforced? The Indian government has asked tech giants Google and Apple to remove the banned apps from their respective app stores so that new users cannot download them anymore. If you already have these apps downloaded on your phone, you are suggested to delete them. Note that you can't continue to use these apps even if you don't delete them. Because the government has asked the internet service providers to block their access. Service providers eventually will restrict traffic to and from these servers associated with the listed apps. The second question is, what about the pre-installed apps that you can't delete? Well, you can't delete them, but you can disable them on some phones, which means that they won't show up on the list of apps on your phone and won't be active and will sort of just exist in your smartphone in a coma. But as we said, the internet service providers will eventually block access to these apps. So even if you don't disable them, they will eventually become non-functional. The third question, will you be punished if you don't delete the banned apps? Well, it's not illegal if you don't delete a banned app, but please understand that developers will not provide any support or release updates or any security patches for these apps now, which means that it won't be safe to use one of these banned apps in the absence of any support from developers. The fourth question, is this ban permanent? Well, for now, it looks like a permanent ban as the action has been taken in order to safeguard the interests of India. The ban is expected to be a big stumbling block for the Chinese, which have placed big bets on what is one of the world's biggest web services markets. We suggest that you get rid of these apps and look for better alternatives.